I moved to Pittsburgh in 1991 from Washington, D.C., and some of you have probably heard this story before, so I apologize, but I was, um, I was struck when I moved here in 91 by a number of things. You know, one was that it was the sort of place that I came to, to here expecting in terms of a great place to raise children with lots of cultural amenities and lots of wonderful people. Uh, but I was really struck by two things in particular that didn't quite fit the picture that I had hoped for and wanted. And one, and I used to relay this to, to colleagues back in Washington this way by saying, you know, this is a fabulous place, but um, I feel a bit like I've fallen through a time warp. And, uh, um, and you know, everybody chuckles about that, but um, one of the ways in which I feel like I've fallen through a time warp is it feels like it's 20 years behind the times on gender. And it feels like it's 30 years behind the times on race. And that's going to hold us back. We've got to figure that out. Um, I've seen in the years since tremendous progress from this community as we've really worked on this and acknowledged the, that this is a real issue through the leadership of people like Esther Bush, who is here with us this morning, and um, now Candy Castleberry Singleton, who I just have to say is one of the most exciting people to come to Pittsburgh in a long time. <laughs> Uh, and, I, and, I, and I think that's embodied by the fact that here you have somebody who's a corporate resource. You know, she's, she's working for UPMC, um, and yet she is making herself, and UPMC is letting her become a community resource. And that is the best way, in my opinion, for somebody to become a leading citizen and, and an agent of change. So thank you, Candy, for that. Um, we still have a ways to go, and a campaign like this is a terrific vehicle for us beginning to do that. I've been fascinated, um, and I, I don't mean to make this a political speech, but I've been fascinated in recent months by the debate over health care. And what I've been watching from my perspective is a culture that seems to want to focus more on who we exclude than on who we include. So the debate has become about who doesn't get to come to the party as opposed to how to create a system that is inclusive and welcomes everybody and ennobles everybody. And it's one of the things that not just Pittsburgh, but our, our entire country has to change. The change begins here. It begins at, at the community level. But it is this idea of um, having a society where everybody counts. And that it's not OK if some people are excluded. And it's not OK if there are some people who we throw away. There are no throwaway human beings. So that's the sort of culture and the sort of community that I think we so desperately want to create. And when we went through our own strategic planning process over the course of the past year at the Pittsburgh Foundation, we looked at diversity and inclusion. We embraced it as um, core principles for the work that we want to do. Uh, and we went through the same question process of asking, well, what does this really mean in terms of our own practices, how we make grants, the sort of organizations we affiliate with, who we ask questions to, who we invite to the table, um, I will tell you that, the, for me, the fundamental issue is about whose voice you're listening to and who you're letting into the room and how you're making sure that everybody is welcome at the table. And we really concluded through our own process that it really begins with the idea of dignity and respect and respecting every human being as being valid and, um, and needing to be at the table and having their voice heard. So it is a great privilege. When Candy mentioned this to me, of course I said yes, because it's Candy, and you don't say no to Candy. <laughs> but, but even if it hadn't been Candy, and I think, I think this, is, um, this is just such a terrific enterprise for the community, another indication of our moving forward as, um, as a community that embraces dignity and respect for all human beings. So thank you, Candy, for the work you're doing in UPMC, and we're delighted to be a partner in it.